first thing I want to say is this. We must pay all due respects to the Creator. All due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Ashe, Hotep, gods and goddesses, kings and queens, quote unquote, brothers and sisters, that's in the religious church institutions. Now the reason why I always do quote of church of inst institutions uh it's just that i don't i don't follow or worship anything that's religious in any uh concept if you will so there's no disrespect to if you go into church or any institution any institutions anything that's religious in a format that came from the white society I, I do not follow. I follow the African spiritual enlightenment system of all African people through the continent of Africa, through the people of all parts of the world who is melanin race. Now I know all people of the melanin race do not feel the same concept as I do, and that is their prerogative. I'm not here to slander anyone, but today, this morning, early this morning, I woke up because the ancestors woke me up. They woke me up to see and to watch a certain program, or a post rather, and to allow me to know that a lot of our brothers and sisters, because I know they couldn't be gods or goddesses, I know they couldn't be kings and queens who allow our ignorance, tolerance display. Let me get direct to the point. There was a post this morning that I seen that for the Halloween celebration that many of y'all are going to be celebrating. I do not celebrate this, this celebration. I don't celebrate, matter of fact, I don't really celebrate none of these um, religious conceptions of um, holidays. You can do it the way you want to do it, but I don't do that. Not the way y'all do it, the way y'all celebrate it in a white society. Well, on Facebook, or and that's where I seen it at, there was a post up that a white young boy and four, I think it was four or three, young black males was in a post together. The white boy was supposed to be the slave master and the boys were supposed to be the slaves. I asked myself this question. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The first thing that came to my mind, the ignorance of tolerance, the ignorance of tolerance that our black people sh still share to this day. They share it to this day. When I say share it, I mean, want to be ignorance but tolerance to this conception of the white man and his slaves. This is supposed to be a Halloween costume. This is supposed to be a Halloween, um, either a joke or, but it says Halloween on it. Any, any black people, male or female, who seems to have a sense of humor 
to want to display this behavior, this constructive behavior that you're supposed to have an inside joke of being a slave, you still a slave. You still a slave because you never, ever taste of being a slave. Not the confunction of the way it was done to our ancestors. You don't know what that's like. But you want to portray this act. You want to worship this act. I'm going to be honest with y'all. You continue on with this act. It's going to become a symbol. Okay? It's going to become a symbol that this white man can put a string around these black children and then start walking them around here and thinking it's okay. It's going to be a symbol. You, y'all don't seem what you keep practicing. It's going to be a symbol. This is what happened. This is what we've done to you. And here now, in 2016, it's now becoming a symbol. I'm going to be honest with you. My opinion. I believe that black parents had came up with this idea. Y'all remember the case of Whoopi Goldberg put on blackface? You remember that? I'm just going to give you that little short little story so it can all entwine together. It was a couple of years back. It might have been 10 years ago, quite frankly. They was roasting Ted Alley. I think, I don't know, I forgot the white guy she was dating. He was an actor from um, Cheers. If anybody has seen the, the TV series that used to come on called Cheers, about everybody was in this bar. Okay, let's quickly roll on because I don't want to stay on top of that topic. Well, Whoopi Goldberg was dating him for a while. Okay? It was time to be roasted. I think, I believe either Whoopi, Whoopi was supposed to be roasted or her boyfriend was supposed to be roasted. Her name is Ted. But she came up with the idea of putting on blackface. Whoopi. And um, several black entertainers was totally upset. Totally. I mean, it spread like wildfire. But the thing is this. The, the, the moral of the story is just how black people completely can can um forget the drama the horrifying killing raping of our black people how not how but they had to deal with and died not only they died physically but the ones who survived had to destroy their heritage through the bloodline to survive here. Yeah, let me make it clear for you. Our ancestors, through every year, every, every century, every century that passed by, that the heritage had to be stripped off of them to survive in the northern, the northern and southern world of America. I don't believe they just wanted to do that to survive and live a certain kind of way. Millions of them did this. What about the ones who went to Canada? What about the ones who, who went to Europe? They had to strip away their heritage to survive. You just don't lose all these faculties of Africa over, over, overnight like that. It just, just don't happen. They had to strip it, strip themselves from it, dealing with these white demons. And I know some of y'all got white friends and you love them. Of course you do. But you don't understand. You don't have your kids dressing up no slave and then the white boy or the white girl going to be the slave master. How are you participating in such things like that? How you even in phantom to think to do something like that? You are symbolizing what went down over the centuries. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Everything is a, oh, it's a joke. Oh, it's, um, don't take it that serious. You, let me tell you something. I don't know what's wrong with you black people. And some of y'all, you don't want to know who you are, and it is your prerogative. Die that way. That's your prerogative, because you're going to die that way. You don't want to pass the information to your children for the future. You just want to live on this earth, and that's fine. That is fine. You got African peoples coming from the continent of Africa, want to be Americanized. Literally. Talking about white Jesus. You don't have to take my word for it. YouTube this madness. YouTube it. How African people talk about why those black people that live in America want to act like they African. These people are talking like this. African, real born, raised African, talking about we are trying to be African, and they're trying to be American. First of all, we ain't trying to be nothing such of a kind. We are descendant from our continent. I'll put continents with an S. Asia, Ethiopia, Africa, which we know is Kush, Kemetic. We call it Africa so everybody can understand. Y'all celebrate these holidays without a conscious mind. If you're going to celebrate the holidays, celebrate it in your way of, of things. Not the way of the European conception. Come on, brothers. Sisters. Kings. Queens. Gods. And goddesses. I am chocolate almond raw. I know I'm not going to do it. I don't celebrate none of that stuff no more. Everybody want to talk conscious minded, but you slip right back into the conception of what the white folks be doing. It's like if I can't be part of that, you know, I've been doing it for so long since I was a child. I'm so sick of that. The same old bull crap. Oh, I've been doing it since I was a kid. You act like you don't know no better. Sincerely, you truly act like you don't know no better. This is a two-part series. It might even be more, I don't know for sure. But because of time consuming and I, where I want to put this at, on Facebook, also on my YouTube channel. So I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. This page is based on you passing the symbol of slavery and allowing these white people to make a mockery of you, but in fact, you're making a mockery of yourself because you think it's a joke. You think it is a joke. And it's not. Have some confidence in yourself. This is Chocolate Almond Raw, part one. <laughs>